Thomas Young from Kingdom MMA and I'm joined with Jake Brutal Bostwick who defeated Patrick Valle in the main event at Warrior Fight Series 3 this past Saturday. Um, so as soon as you got backstage, you thought you broke or at least fractured your jaw in a fight. Have you gone and checked it out and is, is your jaw fine? Um, I haven't had it looked at, no. Um, I believe it's a, an old reoccurring injury. Um, I seem to have the same problem on the right side of my jaw. But um, after the first round, I, I, I genuinely could not really close my mouth. It was really, uh, it felt really, really busted, uh, especially after the, the third round. Also, I took some good shots on it. Um, I haven't had it looked at, but it's already healing up better, and I'm eating better. So to be honest, I'm going to just kind of go with the flow. I don't think there'd be much they could do with it anyway. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just sticking with it uh, as it is at the moment. Cool. And uh, you also appear to have split your shin. How is that holding up? Um, yeah, it was a very minor split. It was nothing. I think his leg was actually worse. Um, yeah, it looks like just a little scratch, to be honest. My leg is still pretty swollen because he checked a couple of the kicks. Um, but yeah, you know, just a few little lumps and bumps, but nothing, uh, again, nothing too serious. Going into the decision, uh, did you think that you had won the fight? Um, I weren't too sure, um, because obviously I was fighting off my back at the end of the first and um, obviously towards the end of the third. Um, I really wasn't too sure. I was questioning, I was asking my corner, you know, did, did I get that? Did I, did I not? You know, they believe I did. Um, because, uh, you know, in the first round, I think I had four minutes exactly um, dominating the stand-up. Obviously, then I did get put down um, and obviously, you know, went for a couple of submission attempts. So I escaped um, and actually did end up on top and end up on my feet and he was still on the ground. So he had a minute of that round and I had a whole four minutes. Some people would score that me and some people would score that him because he got the knockdown. But... I'm the aggressor. I took centre of the cage and I was dominating the striking. Um, when I score it myself, I believe I had the first and the second. Um, people think I had the second and the third. Um, it's a really questionable fight because it's, it's, it's a diff really, really difficult um, uh, fight to score. You know, and, and I really do think so. I still believe I've done more through the fight other than the, the two knockdowns, but I still got a knockdown and a takedown also. Um, yeah. I think I had two takedowns or one takedown in the second. So, you know, I wasn't too sure, but um, yeah, it's a very, very close fight to judge. Are you interested in a rematch with Patrick Valle down the line? Um, not particularly. The end day, I fought a tough guy. I've got the win. Um, I think it's good. You know, there's plenty of fighters out there in this world, mate, um, for me to fight. Um, so, yeah, not particularly, mate. No, I'm not, I'm not too worried about rematch. I just want to get another opponent. You know, somebody fresh, someone new. Um, and just kind of work it from there. Anybody in mind that you're thinking of? There's no names uh, in particular at all, no. Um, obviously, I've just had this, and, you know, that's, that's it's a lot of uh, stress off my shoulders. It was a year in the making for me to be fighting, and uh, it was a long time coming. So that, that's, that's happened now. Hopefully, fight again very, very soon. Um, yeah, but, yeah, no names come to mind yet. Obviously, I leave that down to my management, and... Um, Obviously, the organisation who I'm going to be fighting for probably be Harry again, I'm guessing. But again, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, you said just after the fight that Valley was a, a big opponent. Are we going to see you fight at middleweight again? Um, I definitely will not be. Um, as you can see, um, I, you know, I was in shape. I felt great for that fight. But because I had two weeks' notice on that fight being um, stepped up, uh, you know, obviously with weight, um, I kind of, you know, not so much let my diet go, but I relaxed a bit. I didn't have to be so in-depth and anal with certain nutrition because it didn't really matter about me getting super light and then doing, like, no cut. It was like, okay, well, I'm having to cut a few kilos, so, you know, I can relax with my food a bit. Yeah. Um, but you can see the difference in body types. You know, he was, you know, maybe 8%, maybe 10% body fat. He's very lean. Now, I'm still sitting around 15 maybe 16% body fat. You know, I, I can't be fighting a middleweight. The guy is just so strong. You know, really was. You know, look at Bubakar Balde, same thing. An absolute tank. You know, and they're both strong guys. They're French as well. But, um, but yeah, you know, um, yeah, definitely well weight next time. You know, 170 is, is my class. And I think as soon as I get back into the 170s, I think people are going to be a bit shocked with, um, with my power then rather than me worrying about other people's power. And was that one of your... Best fights, your, your toughest fights to date? Um, that was definitely um, my toughest fight because 
I've never, well, I have been, I have kind of been rocked before, but nothing like that. Um, you know, I got put put down, and um, when I landed on, on my on my backside, I really didn't know what what was what was going on. Um, so yeah, the fact that I survived it and then come through, you know, was obviously very uh, very big for me. Um, and again, it was very tough. The striking, the striking was obviously um, was obviously good by myself, and I, I was I felt really comfortable in the fight. There was no qualm whatsoever. But as soon as I got pinged, uh, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I just literally went to survival mode and you know, survived uh, a guillotine, a tight guillotine, and uh, and a full-on armbar as well. So, you know, um, for me, it was uh, it was very tough, and I, I pulled through all right. I think. Talk us uh, through the atmosphere. Did that help in any way during the fight? Um, you know what? That was definitely one of my most exciting fights, um, crowd-wise. It was so electric in there. Like I can't even explain how loud. And obviously, with back and forth with it being with the fight, with me being on my feet and then on my back, and then you know, reverse the position and stuff, and then knocking him down or whatever. It was the crowd were just unreal. Literally, you know, I would pay, I would pay to have just to, to experience that again. It was unreal, mate. You know, um, people talking about UFC in Dublin or you know in Ireland, but I tell you what, like I think that was. Uh, I think that was it for me, mate. That, that that's the most exciting it's been for me to be, to, to to fight and have that kind of uh, uh, response from from fans and you know just uh, spectators. It was it was really really amazing. Did uh did your call live up to your expectations? Um, your call definitely did live up to my expectations. Um, I say that actually, I wasn't too sure on how it would pan out, but when I actually turned up there, I was like, right, like this looks like a nice. Looks nice, you know. Good, good, good size. It's not too big, not too small. It's just, it's quite small, compact, but like in a in a good way. And then when I walked out, the crowd's response and everything, it was, you know, it really was good. You know, the lighting, the cage, everything. That the whole, you know, the Warrior Fight Series, um, you know, free event was went down really well. I believe, you know, in my eyes, it was, uh, it, it was really good. And finally, what's next for Jake Bostwick? Where do you think you'll fight next? Like you said before, maybe Harry. Um, yeah, do you know what? I really enjoyed fighting for Harry. Um, he treated me, you know, like a, like a real gent. You know, obviously he's a friend also, which obviously does help. You know, I've known him many years. Um, so, yeah, I probably will, you know, I'm guessing I might fight for Harry again. Again, I'll leave it down to my management. Obviously, intensity. Um, but, yeah, you know, I had a great time. Why am I not going to want to fight there again, you know? Um, it was really awesome, mate. It was really, really awesome. So, um, yeah, probably, probably end up just fighting there, but... Again, who knows what's around the corner. Anything could uh, come out from anywhere. But my management tell me, look, Jake, I've got you this, that or the other. So I have to just leave it down to them and see what happens. Well, look, we uh, thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you fight in the near future. Thank you very much.